You're back in business with me, Harsha Subramaniam. Standard Life's Nathan Farnaby believes that expansion in Asia will take more time for the company, although he's betting big on India and China. Bloomberg's Nia Saini caught up with the CEO of Standard Life Asian Emerging Markets for this exclusive chat. One of the acorns we did plant 10 years ago in India has come through exceptionally well. We've got a fantastic partner in HDFC mm-hmm. and we've built a life business in India where we're number two in the retail private um, side and in the asset management side we're number one. You're talking so, about this JV that you've had for the like the 12 in, years or so, right? Yes. We, the JV in India has gone exceptionally well. It's a very valuable asset and it's developing well and the prospects are good. I mean, if you take a look at India, it's been a fascinating market, yeah. of course, because there's been a lot of reforms in almost every sector, from airlines to financials to retail. How have these reforms impacted your business? The more reforms we have, the better. And the liberalization of businesses created more demand for life assurance and for asset management. And every time I go to India, I'm surprised at how much progress they've made. You actually can visibly see <laughs> the changes in Mumbai um, from visit to visit. So ownership in savings and investment in India is certainly somewhere around 26%. There's talks about mm-hmm. it increasing to just 49%. Do you imagine or envision the parliament going through with that? We hope so, but we'll have to wait and see. I'm very confident the Indian government is reforming very positively. I think the changes they've made also on the regulatory side are very positive for us because the regulator's done a very good job at moving the agenda towards a customer-focused agenda, more transparency on the life assurance and asset management side. That's very good news for us, and we encourage it. You also have a JV in China, and of course, the new leadership, the new Chinese transition has talked about how they're going to be focused on quality of growth next year and not quantity, something very different from the tune they sing Mm -hmm. over the past decade. What does that mean for your business in China? The opportunity in China for us is huge. Um, We've got a good partner, we've got a new CEO, and we're developing quickly in China. Market share has been rising steadily, and I'm very confident about the future. Okay. When you look at this large landmass here in the Asia Pacific region, what places on the map are you pointing to saying, we got to have a business there, that's the next place for us? We opened in Singapore in the last two months. And in the next two or three weeks, we'll open in Dubai Mm -hmm. and build a business there. Once we've done those two openings, I think the main focus of our business will be to leverage the assets we've already got Mm -hmm. and develop them. So I don't think we'll be planting more flags. I think we'll be developing what we've already got and building up a successful market share in those markets. We're in this game for the long term. And I'm very confident Asia's got good growth prospects and we'll succeed very well. Okay, so you didn't mention a single country, but I know you've been thinking about them, so I'll ask you a different question. What are the challenges to growth here in Asia then? There are a lot of short-term challenges because the export markets in Europe have dried up. Um, The economy in the world has been quite slow in in developing, but I'm getting more optimistic that we're seeing a turn. And I think we're seeing clear evidence that the U.S. economy is picking up. I think we're seeing more evidence that the Chinese economy is beginning to pick up as well. So I'm confident that slowly we will see economic growth return to the world and of course Asia will be a leverage play on that and it will do better than the rest of the world. Okay, you're the CEO of a global company. If we talk to most CEOs, their view on where business confidence is in the first quarter of next year is pretty shaky given where we are globally. What is your view on where the global environment is going to be in the first quarter of next year? I'm probably a little bit more optimistic than average. Mm. I see clear signs of confidence returning. I think it will be very slow, but I do think in the U.S. and in Asia there are very, very clear evidence that slowly the economy is picking up. So I suspect it's a good time to invest in equities on a long-term view. A view from Nathan Parnaby of Standard Life. Out of time on the show. Thank you so much for joining us in business today.